So Boltman on grid two on the outside of Neil. Pietro Picano, Harrison Tarvel on row two. 29, uh, winner of heat number one, Stephen Docker on row three. With James Martin, I think that is, in car 10, who's been consistently up the front all day. Or towards the front, I should say. Mike Townley and Justin Buck appear to be on row four. Is the pace car going to pull off? Yes, he is. We're racing then. Under starter's orders, Clark of the course. Nicky Richardson's calling this one. Harry Neal drops the hammer. Will he get the hole shot? Yes, he will. Oh, there's contact as Paul and chops Pietro Pigano. Oh, and Moore's on the grass and back on the circuit down towards the back of the field. Remember, he's second in the championship. Your championship leader leads the race. Neil Bolton, Pigano third. Harrison Darville. Stephen Docker as they all filter through. And on to the back spread for the first time. Through the infield will let the field settle down somewhat. And it's a few cart lengths lead for Harry Neal ahead of Jack Bolton. Pagano. Harrison Darville, Stephen Docker, James Martin, Mike Townley, Tom Glide, Justin Book, Stephen Jennings, Daryl Law, Chris Dixon in car 16. Stefan Scully, oh, David Whitehouse in hard. That would be called a robust tackle in football parlance. <laughs> and Whitehouse has gone through on Frankie Hedges, who's then lost out to Martin Theodoro, and he's doing his best just to hold off Rob Mower and I'm not sure he's going to, although the road now is in his favour. Chris Powell's in there, Stuart Osborne and Luke Hornsby, and that's towards the tail of the field, because the front of the field is already unwinding its way around the mountain. I'll call it the mountain again. Harry Neal leads, heading for the championship title. I'm just not quite sure he can secure it with the point system that we have. But I think it is just about in the bag now. Neil Bolton closing in. And I think Jack Bolton would like another race win. to the back straight, Pagano's there, Docker, Darville. Around the hill. Oh, he went in deep there, and Neil's in trouble. Bolton diving to the inside into turn one. When it's on, it's on, and he had to put his nose in there. Sloppy driving from Neil in the bus stop. Uh, Pietro Pagano is close enough to do Harry Neil a favour here and occupy Jack Bolton for a couple of corners. So Harry Neil gets away with a mistake and turns it instead into a comfortable lead of about half a dozen cart lengths. And Jack Bolton needs to get his head going forward and not over his shoulder. And I think he's steadied the ship now. So coming round to finish lap number four, Harry Neal's lead was just a tenth of a second on the last lap. It's more than that now, obviously. 0.6 of a second ahead of Luke. Luke. Jack Bolton. Pietro Vigano and Stephen Docker has now tagged on to the slipstream of uh, Pietro Vigano. Darville, Martin, Townley, Book, Glide, Jennings, Law and Chris Dixon side by side. Law goes in deep to do Jennings. Oh, he's not going to give up, up that spot to Chris Dixon. Pretty busy back here, as you can imagine.
more touchy feely. They disappear around the back of the field as our race leader comes through start finish to start another lap. And Bolton now can now concentrate. Concentrate on running Harry Neal down again. He took a tenth of a second out of him on that last lap. Just needs a couple of good corners and he'll be back in the slipstream for a run down into turn one. Docker trying to edge into Pietro Pigano. It's effectively a four-way fight for the lead with Darville and Martin just off. It's been a quiet first half. And I think this uh, final might uh, spark into life shortly. A lot of curb being taken by both of the leaders. And it's Bolton closing in. This time he's going to catch up with him down at turn two. Will he throw one up the inside at the toe of the boot? Well, Harry Neal took a narrow line in. It's threw him out wide on the exit. It's game on for the lead now. And Pagano's still in the mix as well. But Neal's had a good run through that complex. And it's Bolton forced to defend. Just trying to put off Pietro Pigano. The lead is about four cart lengths. So the quartet up front, clear. And uh, battle developing here, Tom Glide, Daryl Law. That's the battle for ninth place that's just gone in Daryl's favour. Chris Dixon in 11th. Stefan Scully, David Whitehouse, Martin Theodora, Rob Moore, a quiet final. And up front, it's still Harry Neal. It was 0.4 of a second on the last lap. It's more than that now as Bolton makes a mistake. And he's under pressure from Pigano and Stephen Dock is right there as well. Harry Neal will break clear, possibly to uh, secure the Clubman Championship. As Jack Bolton's on the defensive now to hold off Pigano. He went wide in turn two. And he's forced to defend into turn three. And four. Now, can Pagano get a good run out of this corner for a run up the inside of turn six? Pagano, I think, is trying to tell Bolton to get on with it. They're losing ground once again to Harry Neal. Stephen Docker keeps a watching brief, looking for the mistake that gives him a, a trophy. And Pagano very close to Bolton this time, coming on the front straight. He's going to have to take a shot down in turn one Bolton on the defensive Pigano will he look to the inside of turn two he takes a wide line for a fast exit Bolton slough the corner and on the defensive once again and Pagano's going to try and run around the outside he's run off the corner and wide and Docker has a chance to cut across for third but he gives the spot up well, he didn't take the position. Fair racing there from Stephen Docker. One minute 15 left of this Clubman final. And the win is in the bag for, for Harry Neal. The battle is on second and third. There's also a battle going on for sixth place. Justin Buck and James Martin. 56 seconds left on the play clock. Two laps from the finish. It's still Jack Bolton in second place. He's gone wide again at turn two. 
And has to show up again on the long way round. He tried this the last lap, it didn't work. It nearly cost him a spot to Docker. A run up the inside into turn six, and Harrison Darvill might get back on the tail of this train as Jack Bolton's defence is not quick. The last lap board will be out this time to Harry Neal. Look at the lead that he's got. 2.3 seconds on the last lap. It's now 2.7. Jack Bolton is fighting hard for second place. But Pietro Picano runs in third. It looks as though Pagano's going to get one last shot now. Inside of turn six, can he get a good run? Bolden's gone narrow, showed him the outside. There's possibly one more spot. It's a bit of a lunge into the bus stop. Well, Pagano's in, in the place to do it. Harry Neal into the last corner and heading for a win here at Bayford Meadows. Jack Bolton hangs on for second, ahead of Pietro Pagano and Stephen Docker. Harrison Darville, Justin Buck, James Martin, Daryl Lowe will come through to eighth. Mike Townley and Chris Dixon rounds out the top ten.